Good day everyone, Dr Peter Price here of Professor Pete's Classroom. Welcome to episode two of the vlog. I'm sitting in the, my lounge room chair. I'll just show you out the window so you get an idea of what I'm looking at. We've got this lovely big window and I can't get the lighting to work. But this beautiful view out there and these great big gum trees. So today I've got a couple of subjects I wanted to talk about. Um, neither for terribly long, but the, the first one's a fairly minor one, at least I think it is. And that is I've decided I'm going to call the subject math. So with apologies to anyone who feels strongly that it should be maths, uh, my colleagues in Australia um, and friends in Australia and those of you watching in the United Kingdom, I know that you've called it maths all your life. I did as a child and all the way through my adult life. But re recently I've decided it's been going on too long and I'm getting tired of just saying maths or math, depending on where you teach, I'm just going to call it math. So I hope that doesn't upset you too much. I don't want you to leave, but um, that's the decision I've made. The second is more substantive, and that is the question of the learning of number facts or times tables, which of course is multiplication and addition facts and the other operations. I've decided I'm going to stop apologising for it and I'm going to um, stick to my guns, as it were, and be more assertive about it. And again, I don't want to upset people and, you know, apologies if you feel differently from me, but this is the way I'm going. This is the way our business um, has always been and I'm just basically putting a stake in the ground and saying, this is it for me, I'm not going to make any apologies. And here's the thing. What's prompted this uh, sudden burst of introspection, I suppose, and reflection on what I really believe, was an experience the other day. I was taking a year five class uh, for another teacher and they were doing a math test. And the first part of the test was 10 number facts, multiplication facts, and I had to read out the question and they had to write the answer down. And I'm used to giving students about five or six seconds in a test and say, okay, Here's the first question and then wait for a, a little while, give them long enough and then say, here's the next question. And I was doing this and all around the room, the students were saying, oh, what was question one? Can you repeat question two? Um, I didn't keep up and um, I slowed down. I gave them sort of double the time and that still wasn't enough and I sort of tripled the time and I checked with the teacher. She said, well, they're not going to be very fast. So I kept on lengthening time and lengthening the time. And I went around the room and found that most of the class, <laughs> I've never really seen this before en masse, most of the class were drawing dots on their scrap paper. And so when I said, what is six times seven, they go dot, 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 dot. And they were drawing little arrays of six times seven and they were drawing all the dots and then counting them up from one I don't think they were even doing it because they don't know the multiple, so they weren't going 7, 14, 21. They were counting them up one by one. And of course they couldn't keep up. I could give them a minute for each question and they would still struggle to keep up with 10 in a row. And I slowed down as much as I dared before I thought, this is ridiculous, this doesn't accurately measure anybody's ability. And the kids were writing the question down on a piece of paper so they could take as long as they needed and come back to it later after they'd finished the other question, questions. And the other questions on the sheet were algorithms to work out multiplication questions. And they started with two and three digit numbers times one digit and then they went on to multiplying by two digits and there was no way, I mean you can tell, can't you, from the story there's no way these kids would be able to cope. And so the whole test was too difficult for them. But it started at this level of not knowing any of the number facts, even the basic ones they struggled with. And there was this whole class of kids that just needed to abandon the algorithms and abandon... I would just stop doing all other math and just say, right, let's do about five weeks of practicing of number facts. So, as I said before, if I've upset anybody, I apologize. Those people are probably left by now because they're upset with me. But for me, this is it. 
if you don't know the number facts, we're not going to hand you a calculator and say, oh, don't worry about it. It doesn't matter if you can't really remember it. These are essential, basic pieces of knowledge that you need to commit to memory in order to move on and to free your brain up for other topics and other parts of the mathematics that you're learning. And simply saying, oh, we've got calculators now, you can use them, is just not going to cut it because it just takes too long, takes up too much cognitive demand, too much time, it's too fiddly. And you need these number facts at your fingertips and at you know, top of mind. So when someone says, what's six fours? You go, 24, let's move on, what's the next part? Rather than, oh, hang on a minute, let me find my device or look it up on a table and just you know, make this a complete extra step that I've got to do to get through. So I'm going to stop talking because I could talk all day on this topic. Um, I just think it is so important. And I decided, as I said, put a stake in the sand and say, right, this is it. This is where I stand. Um, I hope you're with me. I really do. I hope that you agree with me and I'm hoping to find more and more teachers who agree. <laughs> Not because I want a fan club, but because I think we can't make progress on the next step. If I'm going to produce resources with my wife in, the, in our business to help teachers in their teaching of mathematics, and they think that calculators are going to be fine instead of memorising number facts, we're just not going to make progress. Okay, so that's it for this um, post. Uh, do leave a comment below the video if you feel like it. I'd love to hear what you think. <laughs> no, I shouldn't say especially if you agree. Even if you disagree, even if you violently disagree, I really honestly, truly would like to have a conversation and hear what you've got to say. Uh, if this is the first video of these uh, of this channel that you've ever seen, then uh, feel free to subscribe. That way you'll get notifications of new videos. Um, and if you're here on any other place than our website, then go to profpete.com for uh, more information about resources for supporting good teaching, excellent teaching of K through 6 math. That's it for this time. I look forward to talking to you again very soon.